Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Risen. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric. And in the last episode, we explored the alchemist's area, so to speak. We went down here in the library of the upper monastery. There was a secret passage and it led us down into this area. We've explored most of it. We've also found a skeleton in here and defeated it. And the last thing I know to do is polymorph into a little nautilus and we know where we have to go at least I do so I can't go through that room that mag uh, that crystal actually cancels all magic but if I go back here there's a little nautilus which I can't do like this we can go through that hole in the wall and everything will be and everything will be well. I I have no clue where my entire mana bar went. Ah, there it is. Book stand. This text is about magic spell. Oh, by the way, look at our wisdom stat. Yeah. 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 70. Gold coin, berry, wine, torches, blank scrolls. Thank you very much. Apart from that, not much. A door. Hi. Hey. Uh... F8, meaning quick save, sneak, treasure chest, cupboard. Can't see any of this. You're not used to people. You're not able to see this. Okay. Hey! Have you brought me something to eat? Uh, put it with the other plates. If I have time, I'll eat it later. Oh, really? Ah, here it says, the illusion spell. Aha, the necessary component is the tusk of a boar. I don't have a tusk of a boar. What's in this bad boy? Uh, I don't think you're supposed to... I don't think you're supposed to take that. I guess if I take it all... He don't care. Ah, now I can speak to him. What are you doing down here? Research. So don't touch anything. I've got it all perfectly organized. Do you have to do your work down here? Alchemy is dangerous. It's not something you do in a crowded street. You don't want people juggling your elbow or stealing your secrets. Besides, it's quiet down here, most of the time. Can I learn alchemy? <laughs> Young people, I want to learn centuries-old skills in an instant. It doesn't work like that. Alchemy must be respected. It demands time, concentration, and skill. So there's nothing you can show me? I didn't say that. I can show you a few principles, but don't think you'll be able to start research and experimentation straight away. May I buy potions from you? Yes, yes, I have an abundance of everything. Almost everything. Actually, my potion supply is very limited at the moment. I'm waiting for a new delivery of ingredients, you see. I have to find a list of ingredients for Master Illumar's test. Can you help me? Ingredients? Is the old man experimenting with potions once more? I do hope not. He was never happy that he lacked my skill. Illumar should stick to scrolls. He's a master of those. <laughs> Can you help me get the ingredients for his scrolls? Can I deal with a test set by Master Illumar? You're right to come to me. The scrolls and potions have some things in common, but
Both contain power, which anyone can tap. All that is needed for either a scroll or a potion is the correct formula, the ingredients, and a little knowledge. Yes, and can you help me with the ingredients? <laughs> I was brewing potions when you were learning to crawl. Scrolls as well as potions? Uh, scrolls? Oh, yes. Yes, I once worked on a polymorph potion. I studied the illusion scroll for that, as I recall. I probably still have it here somewhere. So you know about the illusion scroll? Well, I did. Knowledge fades when unused. There is a book about it around here. I forget where. <laughs> if you can find it, by all means, read it. But please, don't mess things up. What can you teach me? Mana plus five? Alchemy. Increases your maximum mana. No. How do I brew potions? First, I will explain how to create basic potions. To do that, you must heat the ingredients in a liquid. That's all? Yes. In essence, you are distilling the properties, increasing the effect of individual ingredients. How do I know what ingredients to use? At your level of knowledge, you lean upon the wisdom of others and use what they have discovered. For instance, you can buy the recipe for a regular healing potion from any alchemist. Ooh. Let's trade. Let's trade. What do you have? Recipe for a healing potion, for a large mana potion, mana potion, small mana potion, a, a ridiculous amount of vials. Is that one strong mana potion or is that unlimited strong mana potions? I wonder. Purchase price. I actually, I'm gonna purchase 10 of them. Yes. How much do you sell, uh, do you buy this, my stuff for? Also only one fifth. Hmm. I guess I'm never gonna get it better than that. I guess. What do I want to sell? Fried herring, no thanks. Grapes. Kitchen knife? Knife. I don't need these things twice. Or thrice. And... This recipe is extremely... I, I have to keep this. But we can trade this. Um, anything else I want from you? Couple of vials, I'll take one vial. One. Yes. Good. And I can create a healing potion. No, never mind, that's a real healing potion. That's not a small healing potion. That blows. Ah, this is where ca where I come out. Okay, I'm glad I have a shortcut to the to his place. Then let's, let's trade. trade. Small healing potion. Hmm, one hundred. I'll I'll trade. Give me that bad boy. Ooh, you create two, three healing herbs. Oh, and wine. That hurts. Three healing herbs. So I have to collect a bunch of them. Or buy them for that matter, but I'd rather collect them. 
do you create two at a time or is two the maximum you can't create? Looks good. Ah, that was the maximum. So you create one at a time. That's pretty mediocre. Pretty mediocre. So, Elman, I know that one scroll you couldn't figure out. Illusion. Elman, where did where would he be? He would be up here, probably with a broom in hand. Enzo. You need the tusk of a boar to create an illusion. Excellent. To create a nautilus scroll, all you need is an old empty nautilus ship. Thank you. Um, that's still not all of them. I'm missing quite a few. What reason do you have for staring at me? I'm not staring at you. Quit being such a pussy. What do you think? I've read all the books. Yes, I see the truth in your eyes. You have gained the knowledge you seek, but there is one more step. To join the convocation, you must first obtain a crystal. Done. What sort of crystal? For now, a fire crystal should suffice. Mm. I sent the novice Nathan to the ruins outside the monastery with just such a crystal. However, he has not returned. Find him, and you will find the crystal. So Nathan went to these ruins with a powerful magical crystal and disappeared. And you want me to go into these ruins without a crystal? Precisely. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got that clear. Oh boy. I have some questions. Questions are food for the mind. What can you teach me about scrolls? Scrolls are a way of binding magic. Anyone can use them, but once they have been incanted, the scroll loses its properties and reverts to mere paper. If you wish to know more, talk to Master Illumar. Can you tell me about the power of crystals? Crystal magic is the oldest form of magic. It is highly developed. What can you tell me about runes? Runes? Uh, runes are a versatile form of sorcery. The knowledge of how to create runes has been lost, but we can still use them if we open up our spirit. Is there nothing else you can tell me about runes? First, you must acquire a crystal and learn to master it. We shall deal with runes later. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So I know two more things. Ah. I know the ingredient you need for a Nautilus scroll. Great, I'll trade you. What spells do you need to know the ingredients for? Can you tell me what I need for a jest scroll? For this spell, you need a pearl. Right. To create a Nautilus scroll, first you need an empty Nautilus shell. I should have thought of that myself. I'm just missing telekinesis now, aren't I? No? I know the ingredient for the illusion spell. And that would be? The tusk of a boar. I know no, levitation is what I'm missing. Nautilus transformation spell. Please continue. The empty shell of a Nautilus. Correct. This spell is very powerful. So those shells are much sought after. I know the component for the jest spell. Which is? A pearl. Actually, don't I have a couple of muscles can I open them it worked Wow empty 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 Job empty well done ah there's another pearl beautiful and valuable teeth wing 
can be sold to merchants, yeah. Merchants will pay me good. Pile of dust. Clam. All right. Um, you. No. Telekinesis th is the last thing I need. Where would I find that? I'm sure you have plenty to do. Hmm. I thought I thought I looked at everything down there. There was so much. Literally, there was so much down there, and still. This is Ash, and I still have not found his book. Because I don't know how to deactivate this crystal. Are you seriously sitting down on that chair? This crystal is radiating some sort of a strange force. I wish I had a bow, then I could hit that switch up there. I knew that. That doesn't work. It doesn't work in there. Hmm. 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 Where do I? Where do I get my hands on a bow, though? He was able to teach me about a bow, but he didn't give me one. Okay. Let's look at my. Let's look at my um, quests again. Rufus seeking wisdom in combat. Test of the masters. Severance artifact. I have to go out of the keep for that. Crates for the crystal of fire. Nathan, a novice was sent to the to a ruin near the monastery. I have to leave the monastery for that as well. So I've got to finish scroll creation first. Which means I, I probably have to get a ranged weapon. Which is quite a deed down uh, up in this monastery area. Okay. Let's see what our friend the smith has for us. I'd rather like a... I'd really like um, a ranged weapon. Oh! I've got some iron ore for you. What do you need? How much iron ore do I need for a blank? Depends on what you want to make. For a good one-handed sword, you'll need eight lumps of iron ore. For a bastard sword, you'll need ten lumps of iron ore. And twelve for a two-handed sword. Show me your goods. Ah, I could, might as well sell those, and trophies, all of them, trophies, trade items, yes. He does not have a ranged weapon. Maybe I have to like o open the crystal crystal's lock although that crystal I hope you know how to behave in someone else's house what's that looks gross that has to be cleaned up is 
Is there more of this stuff around? When did it get so dirty? These are my rooms. Please remember that. Yeah, yeah. Just cleaning them up, old man. No more dirt. What did you have to say anyways? Anything else? Will you set a test for me? A test? I have to seek each master and pass a test for them. Oh, well, I'm not really prepared. Let's see, perhaps you could... No, what am I thinking? That's a bad idea. Bad idea or not, I have to take a test. Yes, but you also have to learn. Progressing up the order isn't everything. Testing and learning, the two aren't the same. I will learn, if you set me a test. Hmm, you don't have the right attitude. A test is there to stretch ability, shape knowledge. Hmm. An eagerness to simply pass is not appropriate. Now will you set my test? I'm keen to learn more of the order. Hmm, first we need to consider what you might be good at, eh? Whatever you set, I will do. Well, you have self-belief. Let's see if you have the skill, or maybe just the luck, to pass. Then what test do you suggest? Never have I met someone so keen to be tested. A test. I will give you a test. It won't require training you don't have, but it could be dangerous. I sent two novices to bring me some plants, specific plants. The novices have not returned. Your task is to find them and bring me the plants. That is your test. What? I've brought you your plants. Well, well, that was quick. You have performed well. Consider my test passed. What? But take this as an incentive to learn. You can go far, if you study. Thank you, Master. What news of the novices? I'm working on your test. Good. I have need of these plants, but find those novices. So that didn't end up helping. Not much. <laughs> I missed something. I hate How missing do something. Scrolls? How do you write scrolls? I have so much wisdom now, but I can't really do much with it. Barely anything, actually. Casper, Casper, you have to help me out right now, Casper. Show me what you've got. That's not... this isn't... all right. Hung, 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 hung. This is gonna be a lot of running around aimlessly, isn't it? If I don't do... If I don't have, like, a... A brilliant idea right now. Or a stroke of luck. Which equal I would usually usually equal up to being the same. Huh? I'm allowed to leave the monastery. This is the word of Master Ignatius. Uh. Master Ignatius gives his permission. Then the gate shall be open to you from now onwards. Do you have a test for me? I do have a task for you. Our warriors are trying to maintain peace in Harbor Town, but the Order and Inquisition face danger everywhere. There are criminal elements who seek disorder even in these pressing times we must focus our energies on these storms and on the mysterious ruins that have appeared you are to go to the town and help the warriors restore law and order 
so that we do not have to split our time damping petty rebellions. Who should I report to in Harbour Town? One of our brothers, Master Belshaw. You must speak with him first. And can I enter the town safely? That is your concern, but you have nothing to fear from the Order, so at least that reduces your enemies. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can leave. I Freedom at last. But before we can be free, I'm afraid I'll have to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until next time, bye-bye.